Good Friday evening. Well, you've probably noticed there has been an increase in the amount of missing people we've been reporting on recently. The Bakersfield Police Department receives about 70 missing or runaway juvenile reports every week. Now, by definition, a missing person in California is someone whose whereabouts are unknown by those reporting it. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino joining us now in the Live Center, and she spoke with the Bakersfield Police Department, Kern County Sheriff's Office, as well as a local organization helping to find some of these individuals. Vanya. That's right, Keely. Well, like you just said here at 23BC, we've noticed it. Our viewers have noticed it. The recent number of missing child reports that have been released in recent weeks. The Bakersfield Police Department says that number is actually consistent with what they have seen in previous years. And the issue is not just here in Bakersfield. Now, these kids right behind me, these are the ones that we have seen in the recent weeks. We have all the way from October 30th through November 17th. And most of, most of these kids are from the ages of 14 through through 16, except for Rashad Loss, which um, he is 11 years old. And I do want to show you this um, study from, let me just pull it up really quick, from the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. And as you can see, nationally, most of the kids that do run away or are reported missing are from the ages of 12 through 17, which is consistent with what we have seen here. But the good news is that there is some local people trying to make a difference in our area. We're going to make a flyer. We're going to go out to the last locations. We will knock on doors. We will fill the parking lots. We will do all of this for you to help you get your kid. January Bottoms was in foster care in Kern County and understands firsthand why some of these kids run away. I was in foster care system here in Kern County. From the age of 15 until I ran away, I was an endangered runaway. She says that is why their work does not end at finding the child. The lies, his, his lies. Five, five, 120 pounds. They also work with the families on the root of the issue. Once we have the family together, we stay in contact. What are we doing? What is needed? Therapy. Do we need to hang out with this kid? What What is it, the factor or the reason why they're gone? She adds they really need the family to be involved to be able to do something. All the press releases too here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the sad thing is that all six of these, we're not working with these families. We have not established, you know, a, a contact so we can reach out. And that's what's so important. I can go hang these up all day long. But once I know the family and we know the family, we can communicate. We know where to go look. The Bakersfield Police Department says most of the cases we are seeing are runaways, but that does not mean they are in any less danger. A child is still a child and they are still susceptible uh, to predators that are out there and people that can use mental coercion to talk them into things that uh, the rest of us know are, are not a good path for them. He says people need to alert them as soon as they realize their kid is missing. What we've seen in a lot of these is the sooner we're involved and there is no 24 hour threshold. There's no, uh, you know, you don't have to wait 48 hours, which is a common uh, misconception is as soon as we can get involved, the better. Uh, and, and, and ideally, we would be notified immediately. Well, the Kern County Sheriff's Office did say they noticed a small surge lately and added how important it is for the community to stay alert and help them find these kids. These are the ones that are still missing right behind me. So if you have any information, please contact your local law enforcement. At the Life Center, Vani Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.